Hey. Hi. Hi. Why are you in my chair, dude? I'm in your chair? You're in my chair. I'm all You're thrown off. Now. Always on the left, aren't yes. you? Because I'm a lefty, that's why. Are you really? Mm -hmm. Lefty, lefty. Much better. Oh. Nice. Okay, now we can Goodness. start. Goodness. Oh. God bless you, everyone. Father Steve with you. Michelle Piccolo. Good to be back with you. We're uh, doing another episode of Saints, Sinners, and Cinema. I am the sinner. I am always the saint. She's always saintly. Trying. And we decided to do a, uh, a new review of a, uh, a new show that's out on the internet called... The Chosen. The Chosen. Yeah. So what do you like about the show? Oh, I love that, number one, it has good quality acting. Well shot. Everything about it, like production value, is well made so that makes it that's already like intriguing and makes me want to like keep watching yeah i can't agree with you more it really has a beautiful backdrop yeah. it, it really is a a beautiful uh, beautifully shot uh, cinematography the the acting and the dialogue what i like best about it in all honesty is the character development right so jesus is the main focal point but in some sense it really develops the characters of Matthew and Mary Magdalene. Mary. My, the, our Blessed Mother. Mm -hmm. My favorite character is Nicodemus. Yeah? Why? I just love how holy of a man he is. He's a, he's a high priest. And, and we know that Jesus, in the Gospels, we know that Jesus comes to him at night, or Nicodemus summons him at night. And you see this turmoil play out in Nicodemus' heart. Right. And you don't get that we... You know, we don't read that in scripture, so yeah. we should note that, like, obviously the producers, directors are, are taking some liberties, um, but that kind of makes it appealing. That's the, I think that's the beauty of, yeah. like you were saying, we were talking before about blending something, yeah. it's scriptural, but yeah. then you bring the create, you bring the creativity into it. That's what, like you said, the movie shows as well, the call of Saint, of Matthew, and Matthew is portrayed um, in this series as autistic. I, I watched some interviews with the director and they said people, some people hated it and they said they, could, they just couldn't stand watching it because this character annoyed them and they're like, that's not how Matthew was. Well, we don't, yeah, he, we don't know what he was like, but he was basing it on the fact that he was a numbers guy. He was yeah. very precise. Yeah. And so I thought that was very interesting. I thought at first it did kind of throw me off because it's just like, oh, so this isn't going to be based, this isn't going to be word for word like a play. Like right. they're not going to go through this right. scripture and, and yeah. act this out. This is going to because be that different. Because that in some respects wouldn't be what, what the modern day entry level Christian would be able to, to right. grasp. Yeah. And I think that this chosen TV series has a mass wide appeal. Mm -hmm. I think someone who's never experienced an encounter with the living God mm -hmm. can sit down with you or I or by themselves and watch this because of the music, the soundtrack mm -hmm. is it's got some, you know, n hipper sound, the, uh, the the cinematography. And they even give, I, I like the the lines that they, they add some humor, yeah. I mean, a little bit. And because of course Jesus laughed and he laughed. Yeah. And so my favorite scene is the wedding at Cana and just him performing that miracle. And I thought they did a great job um, just adding backstory to it. And you see Jesus like dancing and he makes a joke. Like Andrew is saying, like the big joke is that Andrew has four feet. And he goes, well, he can't. He, <laughs> and and, and the, the one line, you know, they're dancing and Peter says, so can you... Can you help Andrew? And he goes, some things even I can't do. Oh, and that's it's funny. it's great. Like, it's funny. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't remember that. We don't that's... know what Jesus' sense of humor was, yeah. but I think he probably did. Yeah. You know, Each episode is free to watch on YouTube, and each one has almost 2 million views mm -hmm. each. And again, it's crowdsourced and crowdfunded. I think they already have enough money to do half of season two. So yeah. in some ways, I mean, it's even a, a worthy uh, a worthy thing for us to to tithe, to, uh, to all, yeah, make an offering to. Absolutely. It really is. I'm like already thinking of, oh, I wonder like what that scene is gonna look like. Look like. Yeah. So I'm thinking of the hemorrhaging woman, you know, how are they gonna do that? What's hmm. that gonna look like? Jesus, um, meeting Mary Magdalene in the garden. She mistakes him for the gardener. It's just a, a, a scripture passage that's just very close to my heart. And so I just like, oh, I can't wait for them to yeah. act that out. And there's so many different scenes in scripture, but the first one that just comes to mind is Peter 
uh, on the water falling where, where Jesus has to pull him oh, out of the water. Oh, that's going to be great. Right? So this, the this dynamic so with great. Peter, you can always already see Peter's, yeah. Peter's, Peter's bravado. Peter's a hothead. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Which, you know, again, it's, it's, it really is a fascinating show. I, I cannot recommend oh, it enough. Oh, please. Give it a shot. If you, if you gave it a shot and didn't, maybe the first episode didn't, didn't rub you the right way. I would I would encourage you to just keep going yeah. and keep trying. All right. Well, well, God bless all of you. Again, Father Steve. Michelle Piccolo. For Saints, Sinners, and Cinema. Why don't you comment below uh, if you've seen uh, the Chosen series. Let us know what you think. Share this video. God bless all of you. I never waved before, so I waved. Yeah, well, you had a nice Hollywood wave. That's good. Give us your Hollywood wave, Michelle. Give us your Hollywood wave. Hi. Good. <laughs>